Pathpilot Quick Tips. Pathpilot has built into it a number of clocks that help you estimate how much time is left uh, on a particular machine, uh, G-code program. So here I loaded a G-code file, and you'll see that I've got two clocks that have shown up. One is The one on the bottom is my count up clock, or timer, and it's going to show me as I run the program how long it's been taking. But you'll notice for this file, I've run it before, and the last time I ran it, it took 2 minutes and 19 seconds. So even just browsing around in my files, if I only have a half an hour left in the day, I can try to machine a part that will fit in that amount of time. So now when I actually want to run this, I've got it loaded up, and if I hit cycle start, you'll see that the timer on the top starts counting down. And so it's always going to tell me about how much time I have left versus the one on the bottom's counting down. If I ever stop the program, on the status tab, we always write a line whenever the program stops, whatever the cycle time was at that point, and what the last line number was. The last line number is kind of handy if you need to restart, say you need to do adjust something, and you, you wanted to skip further into the program. Now, the other thing that we have is we keep track of those, and we put them in a log file for you. Some of our customers have wanted to have a history of what programs have been run on the machine and how long they took. And so if you go into the file tab, there's a log files directory. If you go in there, there's a gcode underscore log dot text file. And if you load that up, you'll see that we have the time and date stamp, the name of the machine and the file and all of the cycle time information on it. And if you stopped it prematurely, the line number that you stopped that and things. So that can be kind of handy as well. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel down here and check out more videos up here.